Hi, welcome to class. We're the only two right now, but the other ones will show up eventually, right? Hmm. I hate my life. I hate my life. Hey, Professor Sunrise Productions! Hello, class. Professor Sunrise here. Like I said, regional season is truly starting to pick up, and my good teammate Daniel got first place as the 64 person regional in Osnabrück playing pure prank hits, no brave engine. So, you guys should probably be very interested in a deck like this. It's very budget option. Um, it's also a very good meta call in my opinion currently because we have like two metas colliding here in Germany. In the south we have a lot of um, Brave PK and Invoke Dogma players. A little more in the north we have a lot of Flanderese players and a lot of Dragonlink players. Um, so it's going to be very interesting for the upcoming YCQ in like two weeks uh, from now. Um, what deck is going to go through and at the 200 person regional it's going to be very hard to prepare for like both decks because they don't have a lot of traction. Uh, between it between each other apart from main deck Lancias, which really hurt my deck So I gotta uh, think about what I really want to play at the uh, regional um, But let's just not waste too much time. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's just get right into the video Okay, here we are with Daniel who got first place at the 64 person tournament here in Germany. Um, yeah, what deck do you play? We play Prankets. Pure Prankets or with Brave? Pure. Pure, okay. Without prankets. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's get into the list uh, Basic Three Pensies, three Lancies, three Dropsies, and the uh, Double Rock. Best setup? Yeah, I think that's pretty basic. It's a basic line, right? Then, of course, you play the Double Parallel. In my opinion, it's uh, one of the best cards for Frankets. You can chain block everything, get into crazy cards. Yeah. So, no three off because. No three of the, the third one is in the side. Oh, okay. If you got uh, going first, you can put on the third card. But uh, if you don't uh, win the dice roll, you don't. Okay, win so the going second is not good enough. Okay. Right. Seems, seems there. For the spirits, you play one pranks, double fusion. Two fusion, okay. Two fusion, double place, no third one, no terraforming. You don't want to see multiple. Two is two enough. fusion standard? Uh, Sometimes or... people pay free. Okay. In my opinion, choose the best one. Then for the other spells, one for one, Thunder Drain Fusion, one pot, one Monster Reborn, one Instant Fusion, one Call by, and double Droplet Main. I think uh, the Droplets uh, win the tournament for the main deck. It was uh, the best card. Would you play three in the future or? No. Okay. The third one is on the side. You don't want to see the droplet against something like Eldritch or Sky Striker. It's not good enough. Uh, spicy target for the main deck. We play uh, Triple Judgment. I didn't want any dice roll in the first five rounds. So this was not the best one. But uh, in my opinion, Judgment came in like clutch. It is too strong. Uh, people don't. Uh, think they see something like this in the main deck and it comes up really good. For the hand traps we play double Lancea main, triple Imperm, triple Vela, triple Ash and one Ogre. The reason because you play one Ogre is uh, you can draw in the end phase with pranks and you don't want any uh, like Ash double or something like Double Lancia, yeah, it's better to see another good hand trap in this format. It's good against everything. Yeah, it makes sense. Just not seeing multiples of like hand traps who all do basically the same thing right, seems right. pretty strong. Again, especially in a deck, a deck like Prankets, who rely on the hand trap disruption to actually have enough disruption most of the time, at least. So that's 41 card main deck? 40? 41. Okay. 31. Questionable, but okay. For the uh, extra deck, we play one Meow Meow, double Dudu, no third one. Uh, in this tournament, I see a lot of ogres on the pranks, so I sometimes I miss the third one, but I think uh, it's quite enough to play two. One Bauer, uh, one Unicorn, one Talker, then the Nibiru package, one Spider, one Linko Rebo and one Anaconda. Uh, it didn't came up, but it's quite nice to have for this, uh, the right situation. For the 
XYZ Street Play. One Toad and one Dugaris over the Dweller. In my opinion, uh, Dweller is not that good enough in this format and Dugaris does a lot of things. You can draw another card, you can reborn your Toad if you need. Uh, you can double your access call talker over 10,000 and just OTK your Gegner, your opponent. <laughs> <coughs> we are not Germans here, are by not the Germans. way. <laughs> not Germans. Uh, for the fusions, one Rocket Ride, one Warshard, double Battle Butler. That's all pretty standard, right? Pretty standard. Okay. Would you play uh, consider playing a Dweller at like a premiere event where you're expecting more like meta decks in the form of like all these combo decks where Dweller is really good? Uh, maybe I would cut the Link Spider and play Dweller, pay Dweller okay. because Dweller <coughs> wins some matches alone and Link Spider is just to protect Nibiru. Okay, seems yeah. there, seems there. For the side deck, we play Triple Twin Tester. Double Cosmic and one Retribute. Didn't come up. I see a lot of combo decks. Yeah. But okay. you have to need it. Yeah. Six seems like a good amount to have post side. Yeah. Triple Dark Ruler. Good card. How did this perform? Really good. Really good. I played a lot of versus uh, DPE and you don't uh, want to that you that they. Uh, destroy your normal summon, so Dracula is yeah. really clutch. You have to uh, <coughs> look that uh, your Lampsies cannot resolve onto Dracula because you can uh, oh, burn yeah. damage. And didn't it run into a lot of Scythe players, or were there so many Scythe people running around at the regional? Mm, not that many. Okay. Uh, third Droplet. Really good card in Frankets. Double Lotus. Okay, that's interesting. You can uh, rip in the draw phase really good cards like Evenly or Dark Ruler, and you are really. Oh, well, I'm a sassy bucker, and the video is somehow broke. Anyways, the last three side text cards were one Parallelic Z to chain block your uh, Momo summons uh, for going first, so you have three of it in the main deck then. Um, one Lance here to have an extra copy against all the decks where it's really good right now. By the way, Lance here is probably the best side deck card right now, or even main deck card. And lastly, one Thunder Drain Fusion. Um, he didn't exactly tell me why. Uh, I would reckon it's all for all the grindy matchups like Trap Ult Lich and all the matchups would usually go longer. That you have an extra um, good top deck and an extra good card just to have in your deck. Um, so that you have capabilities of playing in like turn 3, turn 4, or turn 5. Anyways, that's been it for the video. Shoutouts to our team sponsor, TCG Gold Cards. Uh, class is out. You are guys are dismissed. Peace.